It is the most interactive professional wrestling discussion show on the internet. WWE, Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling. This is In The Hot Seat with your host, Fort Miners Project. Alright, what's going on guys and welcome to this week's episode of In The Hot Seat. And of course, as always, I got a great show lined up for you guys. And I got a special guest joining me at this time, and would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, it's a great show. I am Patrick Knight. It's the one of internet wrestling. And remember, it's the one Alright, well, it's a pleasure to have you here on the show, and uh, we got quite a lot to get to in a way, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna actually going to kick things off here. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much uh, going into booking here. And uh, how would you book Samoa Joe in WWE if he does indeed go over, uh, you know, from TNA? Well, that's... If he, for one, he would be winning the matches. Mm-hmm. Okay, he wouldn't be losing the matches. Two, I would show what Samoa Joe really thinks. That the big guy that... We, I would give him what most wrestling professionals don't give him, and that's the benefit of the doubt. I mean, Samoa Joe is a damn wrestler, but he doesn't get treated like this. Yeah. But you know how politics has been on the wrestling world today. Yeah. If Samoa Joe does me, he would have a much more successful Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, with me, with Samoa Joe, I don't really like how he's being used right now in TNA, you know, with going into the Belt and Glory series, you know, losing each and every match, and now he's got, you know, minus 10, which really doesn't mean anything, so, uh, you know, it's kind of a shame there, and uh, kind of, you know, uh, bullshit with that, so hopefully, if something, you know, doesn't come good out of this, you know, Belt and Glory series, you know, I would like for Samoa Joe uh, to come over to WWE and, uh, you know, be like what he used to, and you know, in the beginning with TNA, you know, um, you know, just winning matches, you know, definitely not losing them. And, uh, you know, just being, you know, I guess in a way kind of like a dominant heel or you can be a dominant face, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as for what brand, you know, uh, to have Samoa Joe on, I guess, you know, SmackDown would be good, you know, since they don't really have too many guys in there. So that would be a cool way to bring them on and eventually bring them over to Raw and I see how I can do it there with uh, the live matches and everything. So it would be actually really interesting to have Samoa Joe to come into WWE. Uh, so, you know, I will be looking forward to that if uh, anything does uh, happen with that. So uh, that's it when it comes to uh, Samoa Joe on that topic. Uh, the next thing I got here, and uh, what are your thoughts on Ted, if he does indeed become a face, and uh, will this well, work out for him, or would it get just as worse, and what are your thoughts on that? Well, who becomes a face? Ted DiBiase. Uh, I mean, it could be a fresh start. I did not know that Ted DiBiase was leaning towards a face. If he is, yeah. I mean... Okay, um, my thing is that typically, y'all see, he's trying to be like his father, and he's not going anywhere in his career with his current kid. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not really doing it. It's like, they tried to make him like his father, and nothing got out of it. Yeah. One, he needs to be. Maybe he could turn the face. Mm-hmm. But if his career right now is like a narrow, stale, pointless path that's going nowhere, yeah. I mean, he's just losing matches, maybe not being as competitive. I mean, all he does is talk. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. what Saul says. Don't just say it, bring it. Like, he really needs to bring it to the ring. Like, he needs more action and less talk. And mm-hmm. they have to make him more believable, which means he needs to get some matches and win something. Mm-hmm. And two... He needs to get rid of this Cody Rhodes thing. He needs to move on to bigger, better things. Exactly. Yeah, and for me with uh, Ted DiBiase, with this one, you know, I think the face might, uh, the face turn might actually help him out here, you know, depending on how they're going to do that. 
uh, probably in a third phase, you know, I'm pretty well, and I have a little rivalry with that. Maybe when the end of kind of championship and actually hold it and, uh, you know, do some uh, good things and uh, have, you know, some feuds and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he can actually wrestle, you know, once you put him, uh, you know, depending on who the guy is. And, uh, you know, he can definitely, you know, uh, work a good match and then uh, depending on who it is. So, uh, you know, hopefully it'll turn out for him and maybe do better for his career and, uh, you know, change things a little bit for Teddy Biasi and, uh, you know, continue to do uh, bigger and better things uh, with his face turn and uh, hopefully it'll work out. So, uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to that. And now uh, the next thing I got here, and uh, what are your thoughts on Kevin Nash returning at SummerSlam and attacking CM Punk and this whole storyline? And uh, what are your thoughts on that and where do you think it's going to go? Wow. That's a really good question. <clears throat> One, I'm happy with transpired at SummerSlam. I hear all these people bitching and moaning and pouting about the whole fiasco, about what happened to Cena. Yeah. Especially about what happened to Punk. But why y'all guys so mad? I mean, they try to get a new channel. And you guys make it seem like I put some real things for shit. Oh, it's seen on time. Look, he can't win every match. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't expect him to have the title forever. Right. Not even seen it to have it forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. What I think with CM Punk, maybe they could have done better, but hey, the title changed. Yeah. And with Kevin Nash, I'm happy he returned. They tried to make something new. They mm -hmm. tried to be creative. They did something that you guys want, but you guys don't like. Yeah. I made a video a while ago about complaining about mm -hmm. the double standard. And double standards are shown again. Yeah. Because Nash comes out, beats up Nash, I mean, beats up Punk, okay, and then there's a new champion. I don't know why you guys get so mad about a new champion. I mean, WWE did the main thing on this, unpredictability, and you guys hate because the unpredictability does a favor in the favor. You know, you guys make no sense. You guys only jump the bandwagon, your favorite guy that you like, okay? Yeah. So, when the unpredictability doesn't favor you, you get mad. Mm -hmm. So, what's the point of unpredictability if it doesn't favor you? Yeah. Unpredictability is the art of illusion, but people just can't understand that. Mm -hmm. And you people need to shut up, watch the show, and stop trying to be a cook. Yeah. Mm. And that's actually really good, you know, I didn't actually, you know, bitch about, you know, Kevin Nash, you know, coming back and, uh, you know, pretty much taking out CM Punk. I really wanted to know why he did that. And, uh, you know, with SummerSlam itself, you know, I thought it was a good, you know, show, so nothing really bad to say about it. You know, it was good from top to bottom. And, uh, you know, at least, you know, CM Punk won. And, uh, you know, then we had the whole cash-in with Alberto Del Rio. And, uh, you know, with him uh, winning the championship there, you know, I'm not really too mad about it either. So I'm actually, you know, pretty cool with Alberto Del Rio winning it and, uh, you know, having the championship on him. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of interested to see where it's going to go. Maybe, uh, you know, Kevin Nash is also working with Alberto Del Rio and as well with Triple H and, you know, Stephanie McMahon. So, you know, it could really go either way. Uh, we might even have a match with CM Punk and Kevin Nash, you know, down the road. We'll have to wait and see where that goes. And, uh, you know, with uh, CM Punk's as well, uh, you know, his possible rematch too as well. And, uh, you know, a lot can happen with this. I'm actually re really looking forward for it. Nothing really to bitch about it either. So, you know, uh, you know, it was a good surprise too. And we had other good surprises as well with SummerSlam. So, uh, I made up for a good show. And, uh, you know, with that being said, now, uh, what are your thoughts on SummerSlam overall, uh, you know, with the final topic that I got here? Um, to be honest with you, it was a good people, okay, mm -hmm. above average, mm -hmm. okay? But people just overrated it. Mm -hmm. Like, people, some people call it the best SummerSlam of all time. People just high overrated it. It wasn't that good. It was good, but not that good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, people just overrated. Like, oh, you know, the, the YMC has a good standard bearer for overrating almost every pay per view. Mm -hmm. Every pay per view, like, oh, so it always has to overrate that. Too. Look, I understand its opinion, and I respect that. Nice. It's like, you guys just can't be more honest with it. 
you have to be always sympathetic and leaning. And yeah. if I recall, over the last few months, the only reason for listening is supposedly to an online fan. So I bet you from time to time they see fan reviews. Mm-hmm. They see an uh, 8 when the preview should really be a 6.5 or a 7. Yeah. But they probably watch it. And it's overrated. Mm-hmm. Like, they have to be more realistic. I mean, if you're going to rate it, rate it right. Nice. Don't just give it a higher score than it deserves. People just love kissing Vince's ass. Mm. So I don't say, but they just love doing it. Yeah, that's fine, and that's your opinion. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a good show. You know, I'm not really going to overrate it that much. You know, it's definitely better than last year. Yes, I can agree with that. But better than the last two years. Yeah, I'll admit that. Pretty much. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's the greatest as, you know, uh, SummerSlam of all time. You know, maybe next year's could be, you know, just as good or even better. So, I we'll have to wait and see with that. But it was a good SummerSlam. I'm not really going to, you know, overrate it too much and stuff like that. So, uh, that's pretty much it with all the topics that I have for today. Is there anything else you want to give your final thoughts on any of the topics that I talked about? What? What you said? Uh, is there any other, uh, you know, thoughts you want to give out and opinions about any of the other, you know, topics that we're talking oh, about? I'm not going to talk about what's, what's been happening in a while that you see. That's another topic. But mm-hmm. what I want to know is, you guys, people need to hop on TNA, okay? Uh-huh. People, why do people care so much about what TNA does? Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought people would hate TNA. I thought people can't stand it. It's like every time people watch it, they just judge it. Yeah. You, you really just can't stand it. Just don't watch it. Mm-hmm. All you have to say is negative. You can't say one positive thing about it. Then yeah. you don't watch it. Just don't. What? You have nothing better to do on Thursday night? I know you people are Jersey Shore all over that show. I mean, seriously. Like, you people just need to find something better than if you don't like the show. Right. I didn't think SmackDown was good. And I haven't watched SmackDown in a month. But yeah. it's easy for me. Because my mind's in the right place. Mm-hmm. Most of you, most of your heads are not in the right place. You want to watch too many, but you don't like it. Right. You want to force yourself to watch something you don't like. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, okay, hey, there's some things in life that you do, you don't like. Like reading. But reading's essential. Mm-hmm. You miss an impact, won't hurt you. Right. Why don't you not? And another thing. Why do people love spoilers? Spoilers mm-hmm. is crap, okay? Mm-hmm. You want to read online just to find some info about forehand knowledge. Mm-hmm. You want to be the biggest smart, the biggest loser you can be. Okay, if you want to do that, go ahead. But reading spoilers doesn't give you anything. You're just getting forehand information, and you're going to watch it anyways. Yeah. Why waste your time? Mm-hmm. Why don't you actually watch it and enjoy it? Since you, wait, since you wanted to waste the time reading spoilers, I think you could waste time watching the show and actually enjoy it. See, spoilers give you pre-hand information. Watching the yeah. show makes you see it in its original form. Mm-hmm. People just can't understand it. Yeah, I don't really like the whole spoiler thing, you know, getting back to that. You know, it just really ruins the whole feel to it. And then, you know, you don't really exactly see the uh, bigger picture, you know, coming out and reading it. So, uh, you know, I don't really care for it too much. You know, I just mainly check out the news and stuff like that. But that's about it. So, spoilers, I don't really care for it. So... Uh, yeah, that's it when it comes to that. And, uh, you know, with Impact, you know, I just, you know, watch the things and not exactly all of it, you know, uh, the things that I don't really cut it for me, I just don't really watch. But, you know, some of the things that I mainly watch right now are the knockouts and, uh, you know, the exit version guys. And that's pretty much it. Maybe Kurt Angle too as well once in a while too. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's it when it comes to that for uh, with me and TNA. Uh, but that's pretty much it with all the topics and the stuff that I have for today. Of course, I will leave a link for everyone to check you out down below in the description box. And I thank you for coming in and uh, joining me on the show. And you're welcome uh, anytime, of course. And uh, that about does it for this week's episode of In The Hot Seat. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on what we talked about in the comment box. Leave a video response if you feel like. And uh, that about does it for this week's ep- episode. And as always, I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.